Tonight, the escalating crisis in Afghanistan. This did unfold more quickly than we had anticipated. As the world watches in shock, Taliban soldiers are taking control of Afghanistan with lightning speed. The U.S. military is ramping up its efforts to evacuate Americans and Afghans from Kabul. It was a dark and unforgettable day, the day that we lost everything. I am afraid of that they will come to my home and kill me because I am a female activist. Where to go? There is no possibility to go anywhere. What will happen with us? Which kind of life is waiting for us? As the Taliban moves in, the West moves out. This disorderly end was not the plan. They went into our office and destroyed all the materials was there, for example, desks, chairs, uh, computers, laptops. So on the bulletin board, they found my number and my name. I got some phone calls. They were warning me that uh, we found you, we found you. So I was hiding for more than two or three months. Well, we have one thing, and that's security, and that's not properly security. So the Zara minority is being targeted everywhere, every day. Of course, they said we, everybody is forgave, but uh, in reality, it's not the case. Kidnapping people, uh, as soldiers and officers is even more because it's easy for them to come, to take someone and to kidnap or to kill or disappear. Just waiting for when we will be killed, when we will be captured, when we will be kicked out from our house. As people who are dying from poverty right now, because we do not have working market in Afghanistan right now, it's really bad. My brother-in-law, now they are without salaries, my daughter was in high school, and all of them are in house. I have to feed my brothers and dogs and my sister and my children. The market was closed, so uh, people still work and they didn't earn. And the financial crisis goes high very, very much. You don't have any medical sector also. All the talent and professions, uh, doctors, left the country. educational sector is completely damaged. Girls do not have rights right now in Afghanistan to go to school. They have been erased from public life. They are same like in 20 years before. They have not changed. I was applying for a job. Uh, the man who was one of the Taliban, he didn't, he didn't look at me because I was, I was a woman. He had said, you don't have any work opportunities for women right now. To stay at home, we will take one man because men can uh, help women properly, because men are the voice of the woman. Your husband, your brother, your father is your voice. So after hearing this message, um, how, how can I stay here? What the hell was that? This was the week the world changed. Good morning from the Ukrainian capital, Kiev. Gunfire and explosions have been heard here. What we're witnessing now isn't just a Ukrainian crisis, but a global one. After 
the war started in Ukraine, whole the countries of the world, the reaction in front of uh, the Afghan people completely changed. This isn't a place, with all due respect, um, you know, like Iraq or Afghanistan. This is a relatively civilized, uh, relatively European. I have to choose those words carefully, too. European people with blue eyes and blonde hair. And this is not a developing third world nation. This is Europe. Now everybody is shouting and everybody is supporting. Human rights is it's only for the for the European, not for us, not for Afghan people. There was some organization who promised me that we will evacuate you from Afghanistan. But after starting war in Ukraine, they just uh, emailed me and said, we are sorry right now, we do not have capacity to accept any further immigration from Afghanistan. They prefer those people more than us. Right now in Afghanistan, people are dying uh, slowly. People are dying by torturing. It's also a war. Uh, it, it sometimes makes me a little uh, sad. But I feel sad for them too. But the reaction should be the same. The health should be same. The people of Afghanistan have to go, have to escape from Afghanistan. And they are staying in the countries or crossing some border. I see the shoulder of the borders, they are beating them like an animal. If you don't follow the borders, force may be used against you. If you don't follow the borders, force may be used against you. This is a issue of justice. Uh, uh, very obvious for me. I'm going to turn the same human as Ukraine. You are the same human as European. Please, I beg you, they have to come. Please treat them like a human. They have to come. Maybe one day you have to come to my country. We're trying hard to survive. But this survival can be long, two years, three years, four years. And after that, my kids can grow up. They be teenagers. They do not have any future in Afghanistan. It's really hard to leave your country, your people. But I have to. You started the fight in Afghanistan, America, and Europe. Do not forget it. Please do not forget Afghanistan. I'm Michael Learmonth, Editor-in-Chief of Vice News. Too often, traditional news outlets shy away from the real stories and experiences of those living through global conflicts, not Vice News. Our reporters are on the ground, fearlessly covering the human stories that shape our world. You and millions of others can continue to read, watch, and listen to Vice News for free. But we hope you'll consider making a one-time or ongoing contribution of any size at vice.com slash contribute. Every contribution, no matter how big or small, helps support the journalism Vice News brings to you every day. Thank you.